Welcome back. This week, we're going to be going even further into gratitude. Can you believe that we are four weeks in and I have no doubt that you are feeling the rewards for yourself, that other people are feeling the rewards and seeing it in you and how you are changing. And if this is the first video that you're watching, then you need to go onto our YouTube channel and do some catching up because these videos specifically on gratitude are life changing. So this week, our theme is what I love to call let the love in. What that means is every single day, we have so much love that pours in. And for whatever reason, we're going to get into the reasons in a moment, for whatever reason, we block that love. And then we feel things like we are unloved, unappreciated, unlovable, not enough, not good enough. But ultimately, it is just because at some stage in our lives, we have built up this wall of protection. Maybe we got hurt. Maybe we got hurt. Maybe letting love in hurt us in the past. And subconsciously, we made this decision that I'm never, ever going to let any love in. Or, I mean, we wouldn't do that consciously. But subconsciously, to protect ourselves, we absolutely would. Maybe it's never been shown to us before, so we're just repeating old patterns. That's very likely. Maybe we've been really hurt in that we were told to trust someone or something, and that did not work out well. And so we build up this wall so that we can protect ourselves. And let me tell you, it is the worst space to be in. Because we feel isolated in that space, we're constantly looking for other people to see us, other people to validate us. And it feels really empty and depleted. So, for whatever reason we build up these walls, this week is about noticing them, letting them down, and then ultimately being grateful for and letting in every single ounce of love that comes our way. So it's going to be noticing, 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 and then taking a moment to say thank you. And then really, really, and this is very important, feeling the feeling that comes in. So I'd like to take a step back for a moment. I'm sure that you have heard the concept of a vibration. And to not make this a hugely scientific video and something that might sound very woo-woo to many people, we are a vibration and our body is made up of energy. So if you don't believe me, let's do this activity together. So just put your hands together about this far apart and just hold it there for a minute. And what do you notice? Yes, you can feel heat coming off. So that is heat energy. And if you had to put that under a microscope, you would see tiny molecules vibrating with different spaces in between at different speeds. Now, the same is for our hand or our body. If you look at my hand right now, it looks like a still structure. It looks, it looks still. But if you put it under a microscope, you will see that it is not still. It is an energy field that is vibrating all the time. And the same thing happens for this desk. The only difference between the desk and myself is that because the desk is not living, the vibration stays the same. It is constant. It does not change. So the molecules are vibrating at the same speed with the same spaces all the time. But when it comes to my hand, it changes according to certain things. So my vibrational energy changes according to my thoughts, my beliefs, and how I feel. So when you are feeling excited and upbeat and really loved and loving and those kind of feelings are coming out for you, you're probably vibrating on a more positive vibration. Now, what you might not know is that we have so many levels of vibration. And you could actually go and look this up. 
one of the highest levels of vibration, in other words, the ones that feel the best, is a love. And one of the worst, oh, I don't want to use the word worst, that was a great catch. One of the lowest vibrations is the vibration of shame. You do not want to call this good or bad or positive or negative. It just is. It just is where you are in the moment, where you are with your thoughts, where you are with your beliefs, and that will influence the frequency or the vibration that you omit. Now, just to really bring this point home, if any of you have ever sat in a state of shame, you will see that it is probably one of the worst feelings in the world. So Brene Brown, the shame researcher, speaks a lot about being in a shame shitstorm. So it's that feeling of, I just want the ground to swallow me up. Uh, I just want to disappear. I have absolutely no worth. It is so uncomfortable. It's like I want to climb out of my own skin kind of a feeling. And it really is the worst feeling. And, and where this comes from is if we were ever disciplined or put down or criticized in public growing up, it was embarrassing. And because of that embarrassment, we felt the worst, one of the worst vibrations. So we wanted to hide away. And ultimately, how we internalized that, we thought that we were messed up. We were flawed. There was something fundamentally wrong with us. And the truth is, all that was wrong, wrong, was the fact that we were being uh, reprimanded or shamed in public. That, that was the problem. Not us. That was the problem. So now, when we do something that we think is a mistake or where, um, you know, it's something that other people can see, whether it's something we've said that we wished we hadn't said, or maybe something really embarrassing, like we send an email to the wrong person, or, you know, anything that we see as a mistake, we could probably f experience the vibration of shame. And this is, this is just an added extra because we're not doing a video on shame, but what I've come to learn is the worst thing that you can do when you are in that vibration is to isolate and to hide away. It's the easiest thing to do in the time, but it is the worst thing to do. The best thing that you can do when you are in that state is to phone a friend and tell somebody what you've done. Speak it out. And you're going to see that in that moment, that person's probably going to say, is that it? Is that all that you've done? And Brene Brown says, if you put shame in a Petri dish, it cannot survive when spoken out. So in order for it to die, you need to speak it out. You need to rely on someone. You need to tell somebody. But what do we do? We do the opposite of that. We, we, we stay quiet and we sit in this embarrassment and it festers and it festers and it festers. And eventually we don't even want to be here anymore. So that is the lowest vibration, literally, is a shame. And then as we go up the levels, you have things like joy and happiness and, and connection. And, and as you go up, you get to the level of love. Now, I want you to think of a time when you really felt the most loved you've ever felt. Maybe you had just come, gotten into a new relationship. Maybe you had a conversation with somebody you hadn't seen in a long time and they expressed a huge amount of gratitude towards you. Maybe your child was just loving you so, so much for some reason and you really let the love in and I'm sure that you will agree with me that it feels absolutely incredible. And so that's what we're going to be doing this week. We're going to be letting the love in. So as life unfolds before your eyes this week, you are going to notice it and you're going to let it in. And let me just take a moment to go through the smallest, most tiny ways that this happens. You're driving along on the road and you're stuck in traffic and you look up and you see the sunrise. And you take a deep breath and you let it in. That is the universe, God, whatever you believe in. Even if it's just nature, that is your belief. That is 
love on a whole new level. Are you going to take a moment to breathe it in and actually feel it? Maybe you're going through the day and you're just on this hamster wheel and it's the next and the next and the next. And somebody walks in and goes, can I help with something? And as I said that, I got goosebumps because you probably wouldn't notice that because you're on to the next and the next. And so you're going to stop and you're going to breathe in that moment. And even better, you're actually going to say the words, thank you. The words, thank you, have a vibration on their own. And saying them often is going to lift your vibration. So when you look up at that sun, sunrise, you're going to look at it and you're going to say the words, thank you. Where is the love coming in every single day that you're not even noticing? that you are going to start to let in this week. For me, it is in the most unexpected ways, but I don't notice it when I am stuck in my head, bogged down, stressed, overwhelmed, worried, thinking, fearful. Thinking about the next, thinking about the next day, thinking about the next thing I have to do, thinking about month end and the next and the next. Then I completely skip over the blessings and I do not let them. When our stones, I let them in. I don't let them in when I'm not feeling good about myself, when I isolate, when I'm feeling shameful about something. Literally, I will block it like you cannot believe. Somebody will phone me and I won't answer it. I'll know that person is like a re really dear friend and they probably just want to love me in that moment. And so I literally don't answer the phone. And that is going to be important this week to go, oh, this is so uncomfortable. I just want to sit in this, this space of feeling sorry for myself and I don't want to let the love in because right now maybe I feel subconsciously that there's a purpose that this is serving, but I'm going to push through the discomfort and I'm actually going to answer my phone. And then when somebody gives you a compliment, you're going to let it in. When somebody else says thank you, you're going to let it in. And you're going to see how these tiny little moments are going to accumulate that eventually you're going to go, Holy moly, how freaking blessed am I. As you're making that cup of coffee that you know that you enjoy, take a moment to smell the coffee. Breathe it in and go, thank you. That's another way to show that you are loved. So for me, love really is about enhancing my life. And those things really are enhancing our lives, aren't they? When you go to the shop and you've bought some groceries, do you take a moment to go thank you or do you take a moment to go, holy moly, how much did that cost? And when you taste that delicious piece of chocolate cake, which I'm not encouraging every single day, but when you do take a bite of that scrumptious piece of chocolate cake, are you going, thank you. And every time that you do that, you're going to up your vibration and you're going to notice. So what are you going to notice? You're going to notice that things in your life are going to start to get easier. You're going to notice that life is not as much of a struggle that our minds have pretended that they have been or that our lives have been looking for evidence to prove that, that they are for so long. You are going to be feeling so much more connected to life, to people, but mostly you are going to see the wood for the trees and something that has always been there is going to feel like it is getting more and more, but it's not getting more and more. It has always just been there. And there is a saying that says, the more I feel grateful, the more I have to be grateful for. It's always been there. You're just noticing. So I'm super excited about this week. I am excited for you to be sharing this. I'm excited for us to get this momentum going and every single day, we're going to be chipping away at this slowly but surely. And it's going to be, remember, small changes, remarkable results. So if you're not a part of our community, please, in the description of this video, click on our WhatsApp link. But don't click on it if you're not willing to do the work. If you're waiting for somebody to come and save you, and if you are not willing to push through the discomforts. But if you are that person that just absolutely knows that there's more in this life that's on offer and you're so hurtful of the struggle 
and you're willing to actually put the work in, then please, we will welcome you with open arms. Until next time, sending you so much light and so much love.